Hey everybody, Jeff Davis here at the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. It's January 3rd, 2019, and we're going on an adventure in the La Plata to see how the recent storm that pummeled this area affected the snowpack. We're looking for recent avalanche activity, we're gonna check out the snowpack, look at the weather, and look for cracking and collapsing. So, let's go. A few quick observations here from Root Creek Basin in the La Platas. One thing, it's a beautiful day here in the San Juans today. We've seen some snow blowing off the peaks up in the high alpine. The temperatures are rising pretty rapidly as the sun gets higher in the sky. And this last storm left about 12 inches of snow that we can see here. Look at the settlement cones on these bushes back here. It looks to be about four to six inches of settlement. So we're gonna say we got about 16 to 18 inches in the past couple days in that storm. The cold nights over the last couple days have created some really nice service ore that's definitely existed in protected spots. So we just traveled from below tree line shady slopes to an exposed near tree line sunny southerly slope. And we quickly have seen that the new snow on these slopes is settling and stiffening. We even see that the surface snow is even a little bit firmer than the snow below. As we have this warm up period for the next couple days, though this is just on sunny slopes right now, we could see this expand around the compass and it's a good thing to keep an eye out for as you're traveling in the back country. So we finally made it here above tree line after some waist deep slogging through fresh snow. One thing we've noticed now that we have a really good view of the mountains is there isn't that much natural activity. There is a natural avalanche over my right shoulder here, but as you can see, it's small. Really what's been going on here in the La Plata is, is the snowpack is just starting to take form. We have found throughout our tour that the snowpack range from about 50 to 100 centimeters. The snowpack does have some significant layering now, including soft snow on the surface and sugary facet and depth core near the ground. So with another round of loading with an inch, half inch of water, we expect to see more widespread activity here in this area. 